Hi friends, I'm Sian Ojolota. Welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs. We have already covered every possible MCQ from the module. We all have learned their concepts. We all have seen how they all work in the practical world. We have also tried to be discussing while solving the MCQs why this is the correct answer and why others are supposed to be the wrong, the wrong answers. ICAI lately had started to put extra questions on the BOS portal that a student is expected to solve before he goes for the exam. So if these are like, you know, most familiar or suppose these are those questions that can be coming in exams, most nearer to your examinations. There's two things before I'll be starting in case you want to be uh, joining our telegram channel whereby all the updates come for this subject. The link is there in the description. Apart from that, uh, one other thing, if you want to be enrolling for a complete course, then also the link is there in the description. Once you will be enrolling, the lectures will automatically start. There is absolutely no need for you all to be calling us for anything. Okay, it will be all uh, started by itself. Everything that you require will be there in your computer directly. And one small thing, you can watch our lectures either on a computer or on our iOS app or on our Android app. You can watch them for half an hour, see on the laptop. And then if you are moving out, then you can watch them on the phone also. It is all okay. It will be all synchronized. You might not bother about that. Let's start off with a question for today. This is chapter number one, introduction to SCM. Which of the following poses opportunities and threats to a company? Okay, it's opportunities and threats both, huh? Okay, so the four options are internal resources, okay? Second, second in this case is uh, core competency, okay? The third one is government policies only. And fourth are external environment. See, opportunities and threats. Honestly, these are two things that is another name of the business. If you want to be doing good in the business, then always do remember, be prepared for the threats. But then always look out for opportunities. Okay, opportunities can come in form of many things. Competitors going out from the market. It's an opportunity for you. Some new technology has come and you think that you can also be making or you can be using that technology to make your products better. That is an opportunity. Obviously, threats will also be there. When Vodafone was doing good, when Airtel was doing good, when so many companies were doing good, Geo came no suddenly. That was a threat for that was a threat to everybody. So basically, opportunities and threats come because of external environment. Okay. Like they can be coming in a small way from internal resources. Suppose you have huge amount of capital, then you might get some opportunity that others might not. Your core competency can give you more amount of opportunity. But again, that opportunity will be basically, uh, basically uh, coming from the external market. For a small example, you are very good in doing, say, after sale service. But then that will be of great use to you. That is a core competency that you all have. Core competency means something that you are very good at. So your after sale service is very good. But that core competency will be coming of use when there is demand from the customers. Okay, And demand from the customers is external factor. Government policy is just a factor, to be very honest, okay? It doesn't give you opportunity or threat. Yes, it might complicate your business or it might make uh, your business easy. But then do remember, it doesn't make only your business easy or tough. It makes everybody's business easy or tough, okay? So out of the four options, if I have to be selecting one, I think that should be external environment. Let's go through the description of the institute. The correct answer is external environment. Government policies do not, sorry, do pose opportunities and threats, but it is only a factor. Okay. There are many social, economic, technical factors also pose opportunities and threats. There are other topics in chapter number one, which also tell you that there are other factors that gives you uh, opportunities and threats. But based upon the question that we all had, I think our answer should be external environment. They give us the opportunities and they pose a threat to us. So answer should be four, I think. Yeah, that's the correct one. I'll see you next time with another video. And uh, just a small reminder, in case you wish to be watching all the MCQs from the module, then this is the playlist that has all the MCQs. Further, there are playlists for each and every chapter in case you want to be doing the MCQs of only some specific chapters. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye. Hello, everyone. Congratulations to all of us. What worked really well for me at AJ was more transition from old syllabus to new syllabus. So I have complete, completed the costing and old syllabus. But then when the new syllabus thing came up, I shifted to new one. 
So uh, the constant support which we got from Anup sir with the transition matches, the new case study videos or anything, it actually did not fail as a burden for us and it was really done well. So I think so that was a great impact.